thanks for taking a look at the game Andromeda. As you can see, it's an adventure game, it's cooperative, and it's primarily for kids 10 years and above. In this game, the world is threatened by the mysterious being called Andromeda. She drains people of their will, turning them into willless slaves. The players, called agents, have particularly strong will and imagination and must use these to stop Andromeda. The game consists of replayable campaigns offering unique challenges and goals requiring different strategies and tactics to complete. There is a special introduction campaign used when playing for the first time. It introduces the game world and the rules in five scenarios, thereby allowing players to start the game without reading the rules first. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the things in the introduction campaign, giving you a sense of the game. The campaign starts by reading a bit of the game story. A talking squirrel appears, asking the agents for help. Then some components are added to the game, and players are instructed to take an agent sheet and select a name for the agent. Then they get will and imagination tokens. When will or imagination is lost, the tokens are symbolically flipped to the gray side. Each agent then gets a unique special ability. These are used by spending imagination. They get some items, a crystal, this is the currency in the game, and the dice that will determine the fate in, uh, their fate in the adventures to come. And off they go. Rules in the first chapter includes movement, skill checks, and how agents can help each other. The standard round in the game consists of rolling, moving one to three steps, uh, drawing adventure cards and resolving them. This is the most basic cycle in the game. As you would expect from an adventure game, there are uh, friends and foes, uh, powerful items and strange events that occur in the world. The second chapter starts when the players reach the outdoor gym. The player gets a bit more of the game story, uh, and rules for leveling, leveling up skills are introduced. This is done by rolling triplets. There are also a few rules introduced for special locations, the square spaces on the board. These, play, uh, these places allow agents to perform certain actions which are important for making their agents grow stronger. The campaign moves on. Uh, the agents meet friends and foes, find strange items, and learn more of the world uh, that, and the threat from Andromeda. When chapter 4 starts, two important rules are introduced. The first is that agents learn that their money is actually crystallized fate, and, they, and that they can use the crystals to alter what happens in the world. They can also touch the flow of the fate to get more crystals. In game terms, it means that uh, they may spend a fate crystal to re-roll a die. They also get new crystals whenever they roll a straight, which gives one crystal, a crystal, or exactly match the required value for a skill check, which gives three crystals. That was the good news. The bad news is that Andromeda is looking for the agents and that time is ticking. At the end of each round, players must move a black crystal one to three steps on Andromeda's track. When the crystal reaches the last empty space, all agents lose a crystal and the track becomes shorter. The players must hurry to grow strong enough to enter the grey part of the city and go into Andromeda's tower, where extra nasty dangers await. When the introduction campaign is finished, a number of replayable campaigns are available, with special components, rules and starting conditions. Also, agent sheets with differentiated stats are unlocked. These are combined with helpers, giving even more variations to the game. Andromeda is designed to give a sense of adventure to kids, but also to have interesting choices and story for any parents playing the game. At the most basic level, you roll, move and resolve adventure cards. At a higher level, you want to grow your agent, which requires uh, select which locations to visit, choose how to spend your crystals, how to adapt to the game that evolves, and not least, how agents can help each other. There is also a constant race against time. Thank you for watching.